Shopify for photographers. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Shopify as your e-commerce platform for your photography business. So let's get into it and make sure to click that link in the description box down below to get started with Shopify for free for the first two weeks of your Shopify premium plan. Now, if you log on to shopify.com, this is going to be your basic dashboard once you create your account. So on your left, you have your home. Your entire navigation panel is on the left. Then on your right, you have your account. Then you have your account settings and you can manage different stores from a singular account as well. So you have your different store section. Now, this is the basic dashboard for one singular store. And if I want to create another store, I would have to create that separately. But that is for people that are doing multiple different things with one account. Now, for someone that is actually interested in photography, I find that Shopify is a pretty good platform for me to um, manage and book my different bookings. Uh, for that purpose, I really do find Shopify is really helpful. So what you can do is you can go on to your product section over here. And you might be wondering, you don't have any products, you're a photographer. How do you add products in a Shopify store? What is the purpose of that? Well, you're not going to actually add products. You're just going to click on add product. You're going to add your services. So as a photographer, you might be providing wedding photography shoots. You might be doing portrait shoots. You might be doing event coverages. So you're going to add the title for those services and you're going to add those services. So it could be a wedding coverage. So let's say wedding coverage and then you can write the description for the uh, service that you're providing so it could be entire wedding plus reception photography plus first dance videography provided with physical albums and so on and so forth and make sure that the description you're adding is uh, pretty descriptive because this is going to be the description that is going to appear on your store or your e-commerce website because it is going to be directly copied from the product section over here so make sure you're adding accurate descriptions then you're going to change the product status from draft to an active product and once you have done that you can scroll down and you can add some media you can add some templates for people to see what kind of photography you do then you're going to add your pricing so Let's say we are charging $400 for this and you can add the time that you have. So it could be a max time of 10 hours, let's say. So you can add that as well. So people know already that what is going to be the limit that you're going to be working at. Now, after that, you're just going to scroll down and this is not a physical product. You're going to uncheck the track quantity and this is a physical product section because you don't have to ship it or anything. And then you can add custom options. Now, if you don't want to add timings over here in your description, so if you don't want to do that, what you can do is what I like to do is I just like to go into the option section. Then you're going to click this product has options. So you're going to add the option type. It's going to be style. And then you're going to add your value. So it could be for five hours. Then you can add another value of seven hours, 10 hours, something like this. And then we're going to just do done. Now we're going to change the prices. So for five hours, it could be $400. Let's say for seven hours, you want to charge $600. And then for 10 hours, you want to charge $700 or maybe $800. So we're just going to add that. And then we are going to click on save over here. And now our first service has been added onto our Shopify store. Now, this is how easy it is to create different services and bookings on the Shopify platform. And you can get all of your bookings and customer and orders directly from this platform. Now, if you go onto your customer section, you're actually going to be able to manage your customers and see which customers order what kind of services from you. And you can go onto your order section to monitor the orders that people are interested in. And now, after that, if you go into your analytics and marketing section, you're going to be able to view how many people are viewing your store, what is your average order value, the total orders that you're getting, and all of those reports. If you go on to your analytics and then if you go into the report section, you're going to get a very good and detailed review on what kind of 
customer behavior people have and you can click on any of these reports over here to see what kind of navigation they are doing what devices they are using and this will help you optimize your storefront as well now once you understand the basics of using the shopify platform how do you create your actual e-commerce front well you're just going to click on online store on the left over here and this is one of my personal favorite parts and the features that are available on the online store are very 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 helpful because it allows you to create a simple and decent website without having to hassle between a third-party platform to create your website and then having your store be managed by another website so you're just gonna click on explore free themes over here and you can explore and use any of the free themes that are available if you are a bit more good with uh, HTML or any coding language you can can choose to code your own website as well but i just go with the free template and you're just going to click on customize over here now you can see that this is not going to be changeable from the website editor so don't worry about that i'm going to show you guys at the end how to change that and make sure to click the link in the description when you are creating your own shopify store as well to get started for free so what we're going to do is we're just going to change up this image i'm going to click on change image and I'm going to customize this accordingly for a photography store. So I'm just going to search for photography over here. And I'm just using the free images on the free royalty free site that they have linked. You can obviously upload your own images. You're definitely going to be uploading your own images. So I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to click on select. And then I'm going to change the text that I have over here. So I'm just going to add professionals at hand or any tagline that you might have for your website. Now, after that, you can create a button as well for your website, but I don't really need a button for people to actually um, purchase my services. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'm just going to go back and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to delete these sections. So I don't need a testimonial section or a text column with image. So I'm just going to click on over here. And once you click on the section, you can see that you have the remove section option at the bottom left. I'm just going to click on that. And okay, I'll keep the footer because this looks pretty decent. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to the testimonial section. I'm going to remove that as well because this is just a sample website that I'm creating. I'm going to remove all excess sections. Now, this is just my basic home page. So this is going to be the first page that people log on to. Then you can click on over here and you can see these are the different pages that people are going to find. So it's a pretty simple one. The catalog is your actual product section. So if you go into your products, you have your default products. And what you can do is you can see that this is your product um, section. I only have one product, so that's why it's just this one very large product. You're obviously going to change up this um, depending on how you want your products to be laid out. But if it's a singular product, this is just how it's going to appear. Now, after that, you can enable or disable some of the product settings to make sure that it, the, you know, people are able to see products and product recommendations you can choose to show these however you want now this is just the only product that i have so i'm just going to leave it at that after that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go on to the catalog section like this and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go on to the collections pages and then you can choose how many products you want on your grid and all of that like so and then you're just going to click on save over here and now i want to show you guys how you can actually change the name so this is called clover jewels but this is actually a photography page so i'm going to change the name so i'm just going to click on exit over here at the top and what i'm going to do is on the bottom left over here you're going to find settings we're going to click on settings and we're just going to click on edit over here and then you can just change the store name so it could be pro photographers or anything like that and i'm just going to save that and now my shopify store name has been changed so if i click on my store link over here now it's pro photographers and if i go into the catalog this is vetting coverage and it starts from 400 dollars 
for five hours it's four hundred dollars then if i go on to seven hours it becomes six hundred and if i go on to eight, ten hours it becomes eight hundred dollars so this is how easy it is to create your own shopify store as a photographer and you don't need to have any fancy tech skills at all make sure that you click the link in the description box down below to get started with shopify and hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video